Hello there, Pisces friends. How are you guys doing? Welcome to my channel, Healing Tea Talk. My name is Myra. I'm so glad that you guys have decided to join me for this video. If you are brand new, thank you so much for clicking on the video and checking me out. If you are returning, I love you. Thank you for your likes, shares, and subscribes. We are 2,000 plus subscribers strong and growing, and I love you guys and appreciate you so much. Thank you for your donations, for booking your readings, for everything that you guys have done to get us to this place and to this growing community of love and light. Appreciate it very much. So I'm going to say a quick prayer, Pisces, and we're going to get into your reading, okay? So Father, thank you for my Pisces friends and the cross watchers who are here to get guidance for September 2019. Give me the highest level of divine guidance and clarity more than I've ever had before. Pray that my words be a blessing to them. Um, thank you so much, ancestors, spirit guides, um, archangels. Thank you, Holy Spirit, and thank you, Jesus. Amen. All right, guys. So the first card out is you'll find what you seek, Pisces. If you've ever suddenly found and been loved by someone amazing, awesome, fun, and fantastic, chances are astronomical. You will again if you haven't yet found such a person, chances are astronomical you will. It's up to you. So this car basically, Pisces, is guiding you in love that if there was somebody really awesome in your presence, you could have recently broken up or feel like you missed out on love, the chances and the odds are very high that you will find that person again, okay? Or a person like them. Whatever you're seeking, you will find it. And love is never in vain, Pisces. It says when you finally see what this whole time space thing is all about, you're going to laugh, you're going to cry, and you're going to be so, 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 so happy you loved as much as you did. So some of you could be at a distance from someone. There could be a little downtime in your communication. When you find out more about why this is going on, you'll be happy. It, it, it pretty much is speaking to a great outcome, Pisces, okay? So let's see if there's any guidance coming out for you guys out of this goddess guidance deck here. Um, please continue to like, share, and subscribe, you guys. When you subscribe and comment, it lets me know that you would like to be a part of the free reading raffle. I do a 30-minute free recorded reading raffle every 100 subscribers. So if you want to be in on that, comment and subscribe so I know that you want to be a part of that, okay? Um Goddess Kuan Yin, compassion, release judgments about yourself and others, and focus on the love and light that is within everyone, Pisces. Okay, so try not to judge yourself or others harshly. Sorry. Okay, and then Goddess Lakshmi, bright future, Pisces, which goes along with that love is never in vain. Stop worrying. Everything is going to be fine, my friends. And then Goddess Udenag, easy does it. There is no need to hurry or force things to happen. Everything is occurring in perfect timing, Pisces friends. So no need to worry. If they loved you once, they still love you. And you guys could be experiencing um, a new transformation, going through a big transformation, or someone close to you. Could be why you're not hearing from someone as well. So don't don't put too much thought and energy into it, guys. I know Neptune is ret retrograding your sign. Um, which is mean you could not be seeing things real clearly right now. You could be very emotional. There is a full moon in your sign next. It's on the thir 13th, next Friday. So, you know, you are having lots of opportunity to face your fears. Pisces, you're getting the opportunity to any hidden, hidden feelings could be coming out here over the next week or so. Um, but try not to worry. Try not to get in your head. So I don't read cards upside down. Okay. I don't do that. We all start from 100% clean slate positivity. That's my whole vibe and my whole thing. So I just noticed that some of these cards were upside down. And I said, we're not doing that. Not to my Pisces friends. So I just want to make sure everything is upright, positive as we move forward and try to get guidance here for you guys for the month of september is that all right all right thank you for your patience while you're waiting subscribe thank you all right pisces love you guys all right so let's get the overall energy for your reading pisces okay 
What is the overall energy for my Pisces friends, please, for the month of September 2019? Thank you, Holy Spirit. All righty. Five of Raphael. So you guys are in this feeling of loss, feeling down, something, um, you know, this is about time healing wounds to time healing wounds, okay? Um, everything happens for a reason. Release regret, embrace the opportunities for happiness, and look for the silver lining in a seemingly down situation, okay? I think this goes with, you know, this butterfly mate. And some of you could feel like you're in the cocoon stage, right? Nothing really sexy about a cocoon, <laughs> Other than we know it will be a butterfly eventually. So some of you could be in this stage of just feeling like there really isn't a lot going on. Um, your love life could be feeling like it's stagnant. You are going to be rejuvenated and get a boost in your inspiration. A gift from the universe, Pisces, a gift from God. Divine inspiration. It could be someone, someone also coming into your world a very fiery Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo I'm seeing that puts passion back on the map in your life. Yes. What's the crossing energy for my Pisces friends, please? What is the crossing energy for my Pisces friends? What do you want them to know or pay attention to? So I think for some of you, it's just patience. That's this guidance here that said, easy does it. There's no need to hurry or force things to happen. Everything is occurring in perfect timing. It could just be that is wearing you out. Like, oh gosh, when, when, when is something going to break free? Um, yeah, somebody could not be speaking. You cannot be speaking. You're in a sort of a tumultuous or choppy waters with somebody. Um, five is the number of major life changes. So there's some transformative energy going on right now, Pisces, but don't you fret. You are going to, you have a bright future. You're going to come out a beautiful butterfly. Um, go to my community page to you guys. And there's a butterfly that has visited me three different times on three different days, the same butterfly. It, hopefully that will encourage you that you know who knew what that butterfly had to go through to be that beautiful it's big it's really pretty it's black and blue it's gorgeous and as for as much as i love seeing it land and be here i couldn't help but wonder what does that butterfly have what does he have to go through he or she have to go through to be that beautiful right all right, the crossing energy is the page of Michael. So some of you all could, this is immature communication. Someone could have said something real reckless. Um, this is also the spy card. So you could be trying to figure out about someone through social media or they found out about something you did or said through social media. It's, it's indirect communication, could be gossiping or something like that going on. Um, it could be a loss that happened because you didn't pay attention to detail as well. It does require strength, but you're going to get a divine gift of strength, okay? Be strong. You're going to get through this, Pisces. You're going to get through this, okay? Have a forgiving, you know, it, it's important right now for you to look at the past through forgiving and loving eyes, okay? Don't be too harsh with yourself, Okay, what is the foundational energy for Pisces? So some of you are just waiting for your ships to come in. You've planted some seeds. You're waiting to see a harvest. Um, things are going to happen in the right timing. You are going to see some success out of the seeds you've planted. Don't worry. Okay. So the three of Michael is some heartache. So you guys are, there's definitely some kind of loss. Uh, that you guys have experienced the end of a relationship could have been with uh, a fire sign Sagittarius Aries or Leo something could have ended you could have really really wanted something to to happen to um, maybe you thought this was the dream come true relationship and then things 
went south but love is never in vain pisces okay and when you see why there was this downtime in communication it will make you happy you loved as much as you did so i don't think all is lost what i do think however is people have very different love languages and september is a big big month of learning that with mercury and venus entering libra on the 14th of september mercury is a planet planet of communication and um clarity in our thinking detailed planning venus is the goddess of love of course the planet of love as well uh, all things beautifying edification so there's a good there is a very, very great opportunity this month to learn someone's love language, to learn what they value, to not throw the baby out with the bathwater. But if we want longevity in our relationships, um, I was about to say Libra, that's interesting. If we want longevity in our relationships, Pisces, then we have to learn each other's love language. In the past, you may have gotten this inspiration, right? This infusion of inspiration, maybe from a fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. And then suddenly things just sort of stopped. They could have left you out in the cold. You left them out in the cold. But this is, maybe it's a little chilly. <laughs> things got a little chilly. Um, so watch your thought processes, Pisces. That, that came up again too, didn't it? Stop worrying. You guys are very much in your head, very much. Stop worrying with your guidance. This one, release judgments about yourself and others because you don't want to create a self-fulfilling prophecy of loss for the month of September. You need some, some energy shifters. Start thinking about what you want, living your hopes and dreams and not your fears, please. So, you get to working on something again, Pisces. You get to work. You start studying. You start to gain some momentum. Um, your coinage starts to come up in your near future position here. Okay. Getting help from others. Don't be afraid to ask for help. And the energy you bring to the table, you end up at a six of Ariel, which is financial success. You begin to recover from what seems like a loss getting information maybe their scholarships or some type of assistance in your resources that you didn't weren't aware of maybe there's a government program a scholarship a grant something that assists you in continuing your education or boosting your finances there i think that some of those solutions do come through meditation being still pisces okay how are outside influences impacting Pisces? How does the other party, if there is one, see them? How does the outside see Pisces? I think some of you guys also hear about an opportunity to do something more aligned with what you love. The emperor is here, number four. So you're, you know, this is a part, this is stability and efficiency, taking charge, being ambitious. People see you working on something hard at work, being very focused. You are coming out of this rocky energy into calmer, stable waters. I think communication is going to open up for you, Pisces, if you've been um, at a stalemate with someone. You could be asking them to go to an event. You could be working really hard because you would like to offer them more stability, escalate the relationship to a more of a committed status, moving towards things that make you feel more fulfilled moving towards a nine of cups okay so what is in pisces uh hopes and fears what is pisces hopes and fears please because there's a little bit of confusion i see pisces having options um but wanting to move away from things that aren't as fulfilling moving towards the thing that really 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 moves your soul okay and the potential outcome holy spirit what is the potential outcome for my pisces friends very clear guidance please holy spirit what is the potential? So I see a brand new start, an ending and a beginning, ending a karmic cycle and beginning something a little more loving, a little more stable. 
What is the potential outcome for my Pisces friends on this spirit? Thank you. The Empress. This is success. This is great, great uh, success. Number three is about creativity, ingenuity. It's also this Empress card is fire energy. You could be dealing with an Aries. Um, but it is being independent. It really is. It's successful independence, entrepreneurship at times. Sometimes it is um, fertility, a great time to start a new business or something like that. But it is successful energy. Time to act on your plans. Creativity is rewarded and luxurious or abundant resources. You boss up by the end of September, Pisces, and it's from following your passion, having a clear plan of action and going for it. Knowing what you want to say, meaning what you say, saying what you mean, being honest, but not reckless. This isn't a reckless honesty. This is, now you, no, let me digress. Um, this is choosing logic over emotion. It's strong communication. I feel like you've been honest with people, but sometimes that the manner in which you say something can push people back and it could could have caused this this three of michael here where you something ended and you're not speaking to a person so let's get clarifiers here all right holy spirit what is this five of Raphael and page of michael i feel like immature communication may have ended something and it made something you shared was taken the wrong way it's like oh shit why'd i say that why'd i say it like that so this is loving energy could it be dealing this is your energy okay being very loving very generous um but having a lot of responsibility um this is also fire energy cancer Pis i mean sagittarius aries or leo okay so i feel like something you said put a burden some energy on a relationship it burdened the person they're like what what you said Okay, what is this page of uh, page of swords, please, Holy Spirit? Yeah, the lovers card here. So it looks like there's some soulmate energy. It's learning each other's love language, is Pisces. I'm almost certain of it. Yeah, so working diligently on something like you guys are really learning how to cooperate. What did I say? Learning each other's learning how to work together this could be in the workplace or it could be in an interpersonal relationship but learning how to work with people learning how they communicate learning how to get to a destination is as at, is as important as getting to the destination pisces okay all right holy spirit what is this three of michael and king of gabriel please all righty so queen of pentacles is here this is you know, a, a person who is very, could, you could be dealing with an earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus, but it's a person who's very sensible. They're successful. They're generous. They have built, it's building success over time. And then look what I see here, the death card, the Scorpio card. So that's what this butterfly transformation is about. This death card is about literally going through a major life transformation. And that could be something that you or the other person is going through or coming out of. But it is, that's a major energy. Okay, somebody's undergoing a metamorphosis, you guys. And on the other side of that is a beautiful golden opportunity. So be patient. All things are happen happening in the right timing. Don't judge people harshly. They're going through stuff. Okay. All right. What is this Ace of Gabriel, please? Holy Spirit. Yeah, I saw the Ace of Wands again. So you're going to get some. It's a, it's, it's a major creativity, major inspiration, major passion. Okay. Two of Pentacles here. So you could be juggling an Earth sign and a Fire sign. Right. And you're going to need your intuition to really figure out what to do here. So some of you could be dealing with two different people trying to figure out um, with whom do you have the most stability or would you have the most stability? 
What is this five of Ariel, Holy Spirit? Okay. So, four of wands, energy. This is stability. This is also the marriage card. It's Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. Thinking about a stable future with someone there. And something you said made them maybe walk away or you walked away. Something the truth wasn't told. Maybe you didn't tell the truth about what you wanted, Pisces. Maybe you didn't tell the truth about really longing for stability or wanting something stable. And they were like, oh, okay, well, you don't want that. Then I'm out the door. You're like, what? <laughs> They're like, oh, okay, well, that's fine. That, that's not what I want. What's this eight of a Ariel, please, Holy Spirit? Yeah, I, I feel like you all said something. You said something before you had a chance to really take it back. And five of swords, which is it. It this is um five of swords. This is this is air energy, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. But it is it's killing something. Like you killed it with your words. Ooh. Okay. It's toast. But I feel like you're going to work on it to try to get it back. In perfect timing, all is well. You have the bright future guidance. In timing, time heals wounds, you guys. And that is really true. So you're going to have to, in the meantime, work on what you're working on. Career and finance look good for you guys. But if you hurt someone's feelings, they need time to heal. And especially if someone's going through a major life transformation, you can't rush a transformation. Okay. All right. What is the sixth of Ariel? Holy Spirit, please. What is the sixth of Ariel, please? Yep. See the death card again. But there's going to be a breakthrough, you guys, in your finances. You're working really hard career-wise. And in your resources, you are getting a major shift, a major new beginning in career after you've gone inward. This is like several major arcana here and divine timing. There's a lot going on behind the scenes on your behalf to get you to a place of success. That's beautiful. Yeah, I just feel like you have some stability. You could have ended things with that earth sign. Found that they were more immature and pretentious than you anticipated. Could have caused an argument with the with the um, fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. Some of you may be in a third party situation with a mistress. You could be ending the relationship with the mistress. It causes an argument because you are choosing your earth sign. That could happen. What's this emperor about? Yeah, some of you are married and you haven't been telling the truth. And you got busted and got put out. Or will. This is September, isn't it? So the Prince of Wands is here, which is very courageous energy. Somebody being left out in the cold. I don't see necessarily reconciliation. Some of you are. This relationship is coming to an end with a very loving Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. And it's just, it's just a legal matter. Um, you may be down in the dumps. Your intuition, you're worried about the stability of your home because of this breakup. But you're going to get clarity, divine clarity, in an inspired solution. You will get an inspired solution to this. Okay. You will have victory. There's going to be a bright future. Pisces. Um, yeah, there's some devil energy here. Something is being put to death. So you can have a breakthrough. Some of you may be really working. You're working with these are major cards, you guys. I don't want to downplay them. It's like a karmic cycle is definitely coming to an end. Like you are going inward. This is humongous. 
communication is coming in about some karmic cycle either you or your partner is pretty serious they are messing around basically if you're married somebody isn't telling you the truth about money or something like that and you are going to need to boss up get your coins up for september start saving money keep working diligently you're going to come out of this successful you have a victory coming to you independently but some of you guys are going to be ending a marriage because of the cheating and if if you're in a divorce settlement or in a divorce um negotiation things are going to come out in your favor the person may try to end the relationship with the third party though before you guys go to court or something like that and say no that wasn't it or they could try to get back with you before the court date um you don't have to to um hurry or force things to happen things are occurring in perfect timing i do think that if you are looking for the information that you need for court you're gonna find it okay um try not to um uh, i think judgments are definitely in order for september for pisces major life transformations endings coming to an end and very clear concise new beginnings things working out in your favor though pisces definitely money coming to you you may have to go through some shit to get it but you get it okay things work out in your favor especially if you were dealing with a fire sign or you're indecisive have to pick between two people leave things up to divine timing things are working out in their timing don't put your hands in it don't mud don't muddy the waters you are a water sign and if you're dealing with a uh, earth sign a capricorn virgo or taurus you trying to work it out can make things very muddy and cloudy i would leave it alone and let things work out because justice is being served and there is a victory and a bright future okay so um definitely i have a, a recorded reading special this month 23 dollars um, or book a reading with me if you want more clarity on your situation this does seem a little uh specific it may not resonate with everyone for a number of reasons but it does seem a little specific um all right pisces and uh take advantage of that love and compatibility reading 22 dollars um thank you guys so much for your love and support keep liking sharing subscribing and i will see you next time take care